Come here then. Sit. Sit. I'm just playing in sun now. So we've come to a honey farm and guess what? They've got a meadery. They look familiar, they look like the Polsonelli tanks that we've got, or that used to have at IVB. We've got some Grundy tanks here, which I imagine are fermenting. And uh, some more fermenters at the back. A corny keg. Hang on Abby, I'm just showing everybody the, uh, the meadery, I sweetheart. An old barrel. It looks good, doesn't it? I want to show you something. And then all the packaging upstairs. What are you showing me then? What's Abigail found? She found a bottle. Oh, well, you can't go in there, can you? Because it's got no signs on it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you dragged me out in the meadery for that. I think everybody would have loved the meadery. But it's okay, I'll let you off. There we go. Meadery. He's gone behind the hill. So I'm just sat in the, uh, well, the back garden of the, the digs, there's the digs, and uh, well I've got the long lens on, uh, let's have a look, it's the 75 to 300 lens, and uh, whilst I'm not getting some great shots at the moment, I will try to, because in that little coppice there, that little bit of a wood, if you like, well, it's only two or three trees really, but it does extend down. I've seen a buzzard come out of there a few times. So I'm hoping that we can get in there when he pops up and maybe get some shots of him in flight. But I can't see a nest in there as of yet and I have been scanning. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. It's quite hard to hold the camera steady as well when it's totally zoomed in. But I'll do my best. Right up on the hill there's some sheep over there I wanted to zoom in on as well. There we go. Look at them boys. And they are quite far away. Is that him? Oh, that's a couple of crows, I think, over there. I don't think they're the buzzards. So hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. You saw there this afternoon we went across to a honey farm. And this honey farm, uh, well, it had a meadery in there, which you've already seen. And uh, of course I picked up some honey. So we're gonna dive in. This is the Afon Mel honey farm. And uh, we picked up four jars of honey from there. So while the kids are outside, hopefully I'll have enough time to do this. I'm going to crack the lids on all of these. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to try them on camera. So you've got a little bit of a vlog to watch. Ignore how red my face is. I'm indoors. And this is the best lighting that we've got against the window. So I'm sat there. So this is the Afon Mel Mountain Honey. There's a quick peek at the uh, Unalable and there's a peek at the honey inside and whilst it looks set it's very runny this honey but it's absolutely packed with pollen which is good for my hay fever mmm oh wow it's grainy 
It's got a bit of a creamy note to it. That is fantastic. As you guys know, I'm not a massive fan of mead, so I'd much rather have honey on vegetables, like roast parsnips, uh, on my cereal, in my coffee, that kind of stuff. I think making mead out of it destroys the delicate flavour, but other people may disagree. So, the next one I'm going to try is the Afon Mel Wildflower Set Honey. That's what we've got here. See if we can get it to focus. Come on, focus on there for me. There we go. Thank you very much. Now, I did say set honey, but this has been in the car all afternoon, so it will be a little bit runny. You can hear the kids coming in in the background, so I better be quick. This looks like candy. Mmm. A lot sweeter and a lot grainier than the mountain honey for sure. But goddamn, that's two jars of honey to add to my collection. I'll be up to 12, I think, now, which are outstanding. You have to excuse me, I'm sat on the floor as well, so my big beer belly's squashed up against my rib cage and it's making me short of breath somewhat. This is the Afon Mel Wildflower Honey Runny, as you can see, it's clear in the jar. Pretty much the same label as the previous one. Let's get in there and have a little shifty of this and you'll see how clear this one is. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Mm. It's a little bit stronger. Definitely more of a honey taste to it. No graininess whatsoever. That's the key thing. There's no graininess to the honey, runny honeys. And then, my piece de resistance, dare I say. This is Borage honey. Smaller jar, they didn't have any big jars of this. I'm guessing it was considerably more expensive. So uh, that's why they've stuck it in the half pound jars. So let's crack the lid. This is a clear, runny one. And uh, it's definitely a, a lot thinner than the other three. Oh god. Mmm. Oh, that's delicate. That is a very special honey, that. Mmm. I can't describe the taste. That is a really delicate, not overpowering, wonderful honey. So I'm glad I've got these four honeys to add to my collection. And, uh, yeah, like I say, the kids are outside having a little bit of spaghetti bolognese. I'm all fish and chipped out this weekend. I've had fish and chips and scampi and all that kind of good stuff. So for my, uh, for my tea tonight, I've been sinking a few ciders and eating the Welsh cheese that I picked up yesterday. Uh, all the beers that I bought yesterday are gone. Unfortunately, I had to tip like three of them from the Penland Brewery. They were poor. They were really bad, but the others were all right. Anyway, let's take a quick peek at that cheese. Yes, we may be drinking some Scrumpy Jack Cider, but that's because it pairs well with this absolutely delicious Caerphilly Welsh cheese. While wow, we're in this absolutely wonderful place to live, this is like a hobbit hole. Not a nasty, dirty wet hole, filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. This is like a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. But what's in our hobbit hole, you may ask? There's a giant, says, hiding round the corner in the hobbit's hole. Oh no! Look at the size of the giants! Oh, it's massive, sis. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> 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 
feet. <laughs> yeah, look at the Bilbo Baggins feet. Don't zoom in on the feet. What, zoom in? That's already zoomed in. No, don't do that. <laughs>